So uh, I'm a little bit nervous tonight because this is. Uh, and by the way, Melissa, thank you for putting all this together. Yeah. Every Woo! fucking performer. Is oh! Every goddamn performer has been fucking rad. I dig the shit out of it. Uh, but uh, I'm a little nervous about this piece. It's uh, it's a long poem. I'm gonna be reading only this. It should be about 10 to 12 minutes long or so. Uh, but I've never read this in its entirety as a performance before, so I hope it's all right. It's called, Sing, Dear God, All Your Wasted Words. What? Dear God, I'm a queer white man living in a heteronormative white supremacist patriarchy. I am privileged even under the poverty line, and I sin and commit crimes every day, yet I have never looked out from behind a set of iron bars. Dear God, right here in America, children die, 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 die starvation, yet I was given a car for free. Dear God, I stopped watching television because the spectacle began trickling down my back like an electrical current attached to my spine. Plus, I can't really afford cable anymore, so there's that. Damn. Dear God, Ellen DeGeneres is a beautiful lesbian, but she still insists that reality of cats can be made better with the basket of free gifts for the audience members of her talk show. Dear God, there are a hundred lines here that will never make sense. Dear God, I love to masturbate, will never apologize for it. Dear God, you are sick for watching me jerk off. Dear God, I am... Dear God, I am literate, 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 and I know how to speak, but small talk with the bait teller still baffles and infuriates me. Dear God, I thought it was intelligent until I ate a handful of mushrooms. Dear God, I thought it was saved until I ingested a vial of acid. Dear God, every building is an erect cock that penetrates the promiscuous sky, and I swear that I heard them all whisper sluts. Dear God, the walls of my house have plenty of room for poetry. Dear God, a part of me is still communist and I am not sorry. Dear God, my dad's favorite president was Richard Nixon and his law hung long from, uh, and his law hung long from his back like a stone slap burden as he told me to stare at the wall, repeating, I am a liar until I broke into tears. Dear God, Francisco slurred to me in broken English between shattered sobs that he was newly homeless in Brooklyn in time for New York's heavy winter, sleeping under gentrified ice, contented with death, stinking of 40s and single shot containers of vodka. Dear God, out here, Job curses your name, freezes to death, and dies. Dear God, there is no saved city in winter. There is no saved city in summer smog. There is so no saved city in the California that I'm from, with only 12 months of water left, and I selfishly despair from my loneliness, insatiated New York, never thirsty and never sleeping. Dear God, Guess what? The Spaniards painted your son white. Dear God, Michelangelo also painted you white inside his brain as you reach your desperate hand for man's lazy and dangling finger. Dear God, you're meant to be mysterious, yet you look like me. Dear God, they say you are love without mentioning the crusades against the pagans, which was really a crusade against Islam, or our crusades against Islam, which is really a crusade for oil and empire. Dear God, you are the master who left his dog free days without food or water. Dear God, I am an angry poet drowning in a community of other angry poets. And while I can never speak for them, I can always speak for myself. Dear God, I have never really been an atheist, but I believe even more now that if you do exist, then you must have turned your back on us. So now I turn my back on you. No gods, no masters, no gods, no masters, no gods, no masters. Two. Please. Woo! I, please forgive me, I am a smoker. Which is, I need to stop, it's shitty, because now I can't perform this poem properly. Two, good. Please, please hear me. I have broken my song over your head like a chalice or a stone. There are hands as broken as yours, holding calluses like they were a balm. 
please hear my broken song. James cried in front of Grace Church today. His hands are as broken as yours and are always gnarled around themselves like a poet holding your language against his breast pocket. Every tree is a blossoming eye that watches its head sink below your shoulders. If you still have ears to hear, then please hear my song. The last time I prayed, I was high and paranoid and feared the thick brush of fire moving through my room. My room tends to inhabit a different part of my head and it is always in different colors. My room sometimes appears without windows or lights and I can only go in when the door opens but I can never see what's inside. My room sometimes houses my stolen gold. It is locked so nobody else might steal it back from me. I tried to burn away my room once. Now it only dulls the bright colors of my eyes. Look how the ashes settle in the spaces underneath my eyes. I am not saved anymore. Please hear my song. My mother lost her voice after her sister died and couldn't speak to anyone but you. Her body is of the fall, but her spirit sits beside you in the late confusion of night when pictures dance away from the corners and whisper secret things to each other's ear. Please hear my song free. I am made out of nothing. A clockwork machine whisked into the ingredients of a raw universe. God is formed from the womb of my mother. My father holds the sperm of Christ in his bosom and spills it like blood onto the crucifix of his bedroom floor. Christ fucked Mary Magdalene and was made happy. Judas kissed Christ and always knew he would. We are the orgasm of Jerusalem as the sinners dance and revolt over our bodies. Oh, history. Oh, herstory. Forget thy home and fill my lungs with the breath of your new memories. Therefore, this is not a poem. <laughs> the whole head of the poem is injured, and the whole heart of it is afflicted. These are not the words of a prophet. They are only a heap of ruins. These are not psalms to be worshipped or sung. I am the false prophet in every room. Thomas whispered to himself of Christ's tomb, the wounds on his hands, his head like a tongue. He whispered of what Mary grew in God's left eye or in her own socket. Rumors, those false stones that left himself addicted to the touch of the pain which none else has endured. Of my first disobedience and the touch of that forbidden flesh which moves beyond me, which laughs outside my fingers. Of my first disobedience and the taste of that forbidden flesh whose touch reminds me nothing of spirit or church. John is of the fall, and Simon Peter, that fisher of men, but not of women, he is also of the fall. All disciples of Christ, followers of Allah, children of Yahweh, all bodies of sex, some bodies may rise, all bodies must fall. Five. Yes. Yeah. I, I am made out of everything. A poet's dream of abstract images sauntering over Dali's long and curling mustache. I tasted it once. It tastes like concrete and a head full of mercury and also a handful of teeth. He has, he has a business hidden under his teeth. Want to see it? It's white and red and in desperate need of a shave. You can sharpen them. Don't I look sharp? I'm as sharp as a baseball bat. Hello, said the baseball bat to the knees. The knees are like rocks. They shatter when you hit them hard enough. Uh, where am I? Salvador Dali is always waking me from my poetry dreams. I'm not supposed to be alone here, I say, as large chunks of the city hang above me like steel sculptures held up with thick ropes. The walkways are always out of reach. I can't jump high enough to touch them, but I can get high enough to contemplate them. He tells me about poetry and the songs inside his head and 
this is not a poem, and this is not a poem, and he laughs at me and rambles on like a drunkard. Sometimes you just need to make words up just to see what happens, turning and turning and then turning, and I think the gyre is shrinking now. Things have already fallen apart, so who cares? What rough beast in April's cruelest nights watch the best minds of our generation loaf and lean under a braid blade of summer grass, wandering lonely as a cloud that walks in beauty, and this is not a poem. Six, sometimes these things just seem vacant. Well, more like a mind caught in itself. If I really had to count, I'd probably say that I used the same 500 words to write the same five poems. Can anyone really write a poem without ever repeating a word? These days leave themselves over some faint horizon. They are vertical and toppling like a child's sad set of building blocks. Please let me go. Don't do these things. Oh, how fake. Only so many words can be written to make meaning. Repetitions equals absence. Already running out of words. Conjunctions, prepositions, even prepositional phrases. Awake, asleep, over myself. Compound language. Garbage can't street vendors. Cupcake machines blind and windowless. There's no such thing as poetry because everything is an abstract construction. Seven. You are not dead. You are dying, but you are not dead. Your dying is of the dead, and your dead are never dying. Still, you are not dead. My dead asked me about the dying. The dead always seem to forget the dying, while the dying always remember the dead, until they are also dead. My dead asked me about the dying, as the dying became a part of the dead. The dead opened and the dying went in, and the dead always seemed to forget the dying. I am not dead, but I sometimes forget the dying. The dying come to me and remind me of the dead, for the dead exists in all of the dying, and the dying is absent of all of the dead. The dying sometimes imagine the dead are singing to them. The dying build walls for the dead but the dead never inhabit them. The dead are always forgetting the dying. Still, you are not dead. Eight. The overcast sky goes the brick and bone of New York trade. I am made out of nothing. I am made out of everything. Some bodies may rise. All bodies must fall. Of my first disobedience, of my first disobedience, God, 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 word, name, meaning, G, beginning, O, middle, D, end. Thank you. Woo!